Hi, I'm Jeff, and here's a bit about running a Misra analysis. A Misra analysis can be run from both MPLAB X IDE and the command line. I'm going to show this on Windows, but Linux and Mac OS are also supported. To start, we want to create a simple project in MPLAB X IDE with two files and some basic Misra errors, as shown below. We also want to verify that the Misra analysis can be run and that you have the correct license. Click on the Misra analysis button to run the analysis. The results will be listed in the MISRA check output view. If there is no license found, MISRA will not run and you have to add a license under Tools, Licenses, and then change the licensing type. Once the license is set, you should try running it again and see that the analysis is properly run. We will now do the same on the command line. Close MPLAB X, open the Windows command prompt, and navigate to your project folder. The MISRA CLI is part of the MPLAB X installation and can be run with the dash help parameter. To run the MISRA analysis on all files in the project, we can just use the current directory as source, but if we do not specify a license manager to use, it will fail. There are two things to highlight from the output. All files under the current directory are tested, and each issue is reported with an error ID, the file location, and a description. An example of an error ID is shown here. Now try running the analysis on a single file. Observe that only the bar.c file was tested and therefore fewer errors were reported. Now we can get an overview of all the available options by running the CLI with the help option. Finally, we can generate an HTML report by using the HTML option. If you open the HTML page, it should look something like this. To learn more about the MISRA check feature, please visit the link in the description and be sure to check out the other bits in this series anytime. Thanks for watching.